Even though the temperatures may be a bit chilly, that hasn't stopped people from strolling the sidewalks in downtown Bemidji, looking at all the festive window displays. Josh Peterson was there as the winners of the window display contest were announced. If you've walked the sidewalks of downtown Bemidji in the past month, you may have noticed that the atmosphere seems more festive. That was the goal for the Bemidji JCs as they held their first ever storefront window display contest, giving downtown Bemidji businesses a chance to compete for top honors. We came up with the window display contest as a way to bring the downtown businesses into our first City of Lights celebration. This year's top honor went to Pine Country Insurance. Their storefront display showcases a piece of Bemidji history that was all handmade by family members. This is basically my wife Abby's creation. Abby is very uh, creative that way and uh, my daughter Mara who's 17 mm -hmm. helped her out with it and also some help from some of my other uh, children. The window display depicts Bemidji back in the late 1930s featuring Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox and Library Park with people sliding down its hillside next to the Carnegie Library. My daughter and my wife spent probably, uh, I don't know, 10 to 20 hours on the project. Ken and his family now have a title to uphold, but gives credit to the success of the downtown window display contest to the Bemidji JCs for creating the competition. You know, I think this is really good for Bemidji. I really love what the JCs are doing. JCs have really breathed a lot of life into the whole Christmas festival. Already, the Bemidji JCs are looking ahead to next year and making improvements to the contest. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. Awards were also presented at Northway Insurance for second place and third place went to, it was presented to Canine Divine. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.